Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy, Bernie, here, bringing you yet another video here on The Charge, giving the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinion. And, of course, we got some late-breaking news as we have it here on the ESPN tab page. We got, of course, the Houston Rockets giving CP3 a four-year, $160 max deal. We got sources saying that the Warriors and Durant are inking a one-on-one -one deal. Nuggets and Jokic agreed to a five-year deal worth 148. The Mavs and DeAndre Jordan agreed to a one-year, $24.1 million deal. And, of course, the biggest one we got to talk about is, of course, the Paul George going to the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's staying with his team. And for Paul George, it's a little bit questioning to me as to why he would want to stay on that team. You saw the way the chemistry was. You saw how they gelled. I just don't think that's the right fit for him. If he were to go to a different team like the 76ers, which I think would be the perfect fit for a guy like Paul George, a 3 and D guy who can defend the ball better than Robert Covington, who is also a better three-point shooter than Robert Covington. He's just a very complimentary two-piece, and that's the problem with Paul George. He's a he's a two-tier player. He's not a top one. He's top two. He's he's just in that second tier, which is nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with getting those pieces and kind of building around it, but if you're just not going to have the team around him, especially with Russell Westbrook, because he is a wild card in his own right. He's a great player. There's no taking away his talent or anything like that, but just the way that he runs the offense, it just kind of runs a couple guys scratching their heads. My biggest head scratcher is just Paul George on this team. I just don't see the fit. Obviously, Robertson was hurt, but at the same time, I just don't know why anyone would want to go back to the Thunder. They just don't have the roster and the capability and the mindset. They just built around the wrong dude, and to me, giving up Kevin Durant and also giving up James Harden just kind of sealed your fate as to why the Oklahoma City Thunder are in the position that they're in now is because they're really begging and playing with their guys to stay. I mean, they had to do the same thing with Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is a loyal guy, so you can't fault him for that. But with Paul George, I just have to question the move. I just don't think it's the right move for Paul George if he wants to be a champion. But if he just wants to earn his money, get his Skrilla, then go ahead. By all means, stay in Oklahoma City Thunder. But unless you're going to get Russell Westbrook to change, who is in his late 20s, I believe he's either 28 or 29, you're not changing Russell Westbrook's play style. He's going to stay the same way. If he was 26, maybe you could say something about it. But since he's almost 30 years old, it's hard to kind of tell a guy to change his play style when he's been playing like that throughout his whole career. And he's been very good at it, but not good enough to get them over the hump in the first round. So to me, this move, obviously, this is great for the Oklahoma City Thunder because what it does is that it says, hey, we can attract free agents. We can still keep them. We're not afraid of losing them because I'm sure if Russell Westbrook would have saw that, he would have demanded a trade if Paul George would have left. So, move. I'd love to know your guys' opinion what you guys think of the story is. And let's move on to the next story. And this is, of course, the Chris Ball deal. $160 contract. Million dollar contract, I say. Not $160, but $160 million maximum contract. This is a good move for Chris Paul. Bad move for the Rockets. Obviously, Chris Paul was wanting his money before. I think they had a wink-wink, nudge-nudge before the trade happened. Because I think he was like, okay, if I'm going to get traded to the Houston Rockets, uh, guarantee me that I'll make sh um, the max contract. So good on him for that. But the problem with Chris Paul, and I've had this issue with Chris Paul for a while, he's a great point guard, but he's just injury prone. And when you're injury prone, you can't affect your team when it matters most. I mean, we saw it even in this NBA playoffs, right? He got hurt again. And because of the hamstring injury, he's not able to carry his team to what they needed. And they needed him really badly in that game where they missed 27 threes in a row. So having him there would have been a perfect fit. But like I said, injury prone is going to be the issue with Chris Paul. And 33 years old, it's not like it's a young 33. It feels like an old 33 because he has a very old school game to him. So I'd love to know your guys' opinion on this Chris Paul deal. Is it a good move? Is it a smart move for the Houston Rockets, especially if they're trying to get LeBron? But it looks like by this deal happening, I don't think they're getting LeBron unless they're willing to give up Clint Capella. But I just think their game and their team is a lot better when they have those role players and those guys there. They're very analytical. They're heavy driven. But having those guys and corner three specialists and all these other shooters, that's what the Rockets need. And I don't think LeBron is going to want to go to this team when you don't really have that much help. It's basically staying in Cleveland, but with the better superstar players. But if you don't have the bench, which we've seen in previous past, the bench does matter. And then you're going to be screwed and you're not going to win games. You're going to win maybe one championship, maybe. If you're able to pass the Warriors and eventually, you know, maybe you'll face my Celtics. But like I said, I think LeBron James, it's more than likely he'll go to L.A. But I'm having a strong feeling that he might go to Cleveland. Again, these moves all affect that they're the domino pieces to the main puzzle, which is, of course, LeBron James. Where is he going to go? That's the main storyline. I'd love to know your guys' opinion. Anyway, guys. 
This has been your boy Burn here on The Charge, giving you the latest NBA news and rumors and also basketball opinions. Go and check our other video out. Go and hit that like button. Go and hit that subscribe button. Also, shout out to the Mercer Island basketball boys. They're here in Oregon. They're balling out. Go and check out their highlight tapes if they have any. Go and follow them on Twitter. Anyway, guys, I'll check you later. Peace.